Oh, I'm making uh, some of these today, some of these pierced candle holders. You see with a candle in. Just a simple little thin pot and then you just pierce it, cut it out with the tool. And I'll show you how to do that once I've made it tomorrow. So it's a dead simple pot. No skin to it at all, just a really small thin pot. Try and get it as thin as you possibly can, because otherwise, if you, once you start to carve it, if it's too thick, it just it just doesn't work properly. I'm trying to get it as thin as I can. Just to see, just to look very simple. Lift up once, and just flat the edge over. So now I'm going to finish off this little pierce pot. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Just now the only marks I make is with a fingernail, just, just as a guide for the width of the holes. Just put two little faint scratches in there. Cobalt on for a blue colour. And now to pierce. The important thing is to get the clay exactly the right hardness, and it wants to be about as hard as that cheddar cheese, really. So, and all I use to pierce it is this, which is a hacksaw blade, sharpened and made really, really thin. So. Here we go. I don't usually do it on the wheel, I usually do it on a, a banding thing. Just a touch soft actually this clay. As you can see it's sticking a bit so. Basically you just you can choose any shape you want to cut. It's not easy to do on the wheel because it me wrist in the wrong position. Right, I'll put it on this now so it should be a bit easier. Oh, that's much easier. So like I say, you just choose any shape. This is the shape that, that I do and then I fill it in between. You can do triangles because they tend to fit nicely. But anything, it's just a matter of practicing really. And when you get round here you've got to sort of judge where they'll fit in so... They fit alright. So that's the first row done really. And then it's just a matter of filling in in between. This is where it gets a bit tricky sometimes because it gets a bit thin. is just a touch too soft because it's sticking. The last one, this is where you don't want to mess it up. And that's it, finished. Give it a try, try any shapes.